thank you everyone for coming today and taking time out of your schedule to hear about Conga Tech. I'm excited to be here and, and talk to you uh, about our company. So I joined Conga Tech in June of last year and my background is uh, really high tech for the last 25 to 30 years, primarily in semiconductors, but also in just basic electronics and nanomaterials. Um, I've run a number of both public and private companies, some, some you may know of, uh, Semtech, I was the CEO there, and at uh, Cirrus Logic, I was a general manager, and uh, I've done this a number of times. And so I'm very excited to be at Conga Tech. We have a very clear focus. We've got a nice track record of growth and a, a mission to just keep that model going. Um, my personal mission is to identify and drive growth both internally and externally, meaning we're, we're looking at acquisition opportunities for complementary technologies to expand our offering. And, and lastly, it's really to lead Conga Tech from this position as a privately held uh, you know, company that has a number one market share in EMEA to being a global leader. So here's just kind of a quick fact sheet that I like to talk about. And so, number one, we focus on high performance embedded solutions. And what do I mean by high performance? What I really mean there is always on 24-7, 365 type applications where quality and reliability of the German engineering that we're known for is what's important. As I just mentioned in the computer and module market, we are number one market share in the world. And our focus is to take that beyond EMEA. Uh, we are the driver of many of these new standards in the industry. We serve a wide variety of end markets, but our two largest are industrial automation and medical. And I'll talk a little bit more about the markets in a moment. Um, and you can see here our track record of growth. And that's a good segue to the next slide here. So we've had a compound annual growth rate of 18% a year for the last three years uh, consecutively. And uh, you can see in the first half of 2015, we continued this trend. I, I can't report to you on the full 20 year 15 numbers yet because we're actually on file with the SEC and I, I can't disclose that publicly until we've updated with the SEC. But you can see our nice track record of growth here. Uh, globally, we're headquartered in, in Degendorf, Germany. Uh, most of you probably know we have eight sites around the world. We run uh, EMEA out of Degendorf and uh, Asia Pac out of Taiwan and the US out of San Diego. I'm actually based in, in Boston, but uh, I like to say my, my office is uh, seat 22 CN United. I pretty much travel constantly. We've got a wide variety of partners around the world and we've shipped more than 1.6 million units so far to date. So one of the things that got me really excited about this opportunity at Conga Tech is we've got a base business that's been growing nicely in this embedded market, which is growing nicely. But there are some market drivers that we see that could drive growth even above this level. And so Internet of Things, it's a buzzword you're gonna hear from everybody this week. I'll talk in a moment about what do I think that means for Conga Tech. And here's a real world example that I'll actually encourage you to come by our booth and see. Industry 4.0, as I mentioned. So automation is our largest end market today. And Industry 4.0, it's the same customers there putting a lot more investment into upgrading the systems. And the way I think of that is going from more of a batch type operating to a, a, a real time type of operating. Medical, our second largest market in products like ultrasound imaging. But this new emergence of telehealth being driven by how do we make medical systems more effective creates opportunities for us. And I'll share with you an example of that. And then transportation, high speed rail investment around the world continues to grow. We're in high speed rail, we're in uh, airplanes, uh, trucks, all, all kinds of products. So here's uh, our example of Internet of Things. So this is a real world example. This product is being shown in our, in our booth today with our partner. Uh, the company is called MyOmega. And this is a system that is monitoring everything you can imagine about a vineyard. So what you see here is a sensor. There could be hundreds or thousands of these sensors. They're actually solar powered. And so, you know, no, no electricity needed to, to go to it. And it's measuring things like 
air temperature, moisture, humidity, ground, you, you name it, they can monitor all this and uh, send it up to the cloud. And so this is also in a, an example of our expansion into what we call Embedded Design and Manufacturing Services, EDMS, where we provided a complete turnkey solution there. So what you have is an intelligent gateway that in this instance actually hooks up to these sensors that are monitoring everything about the vineyard and then in real time updating and, and letting the owners you know, change what they're doing in their process. This same type of product could be used where the sensors are high definition cameras doing video surveillance and monitoring or tracking parts in a warehouse and different bins. And so this is a real world application and any of you, if you have a chance, I'd encourage you to come by our booth. We've got a live demo of this working. Very exciting opportunity for us. As I mentioned, automation with Industry 4.0, it's great to be here with an audience that I think uh, knows what that means. When I, when I talk in the US, I, I have to say that no one knows what Industry 4.0 is. And we joke about it, we say, I wonder why that is, and I think it's because we don't manufacture much of anything in the U.S. anymore. So, but it's a great growth opportunity for Conga Tech and, and for Germany. So uh, innovative healthcare. So I don't know how many of you are familiar with Pepper the Robot, but this is the world's first social robot. And it was originally developed by Aldebaran in France, and then they were acquired by SoftBank in Japan. And so we actually, uh, together with them, launched this product last summer. They sold a thousand of these in the first minute it was available. And you might say to yourself, uh, a social robot, what is that? They have many uh, different applications of this. And so today they're being used as store greeters. But here the example would be as an elder companion uh, actually providing health services and things like that in the, in the home in Japan. To me, I thought this was quite interesting when I first heard about it, but meeting with the customer, this to me is almost like the next wave of what our smartphone did. It really is going to bring a new level of functionality. And so I'm really excited to be here because I think we have a very compelling growth strategy ahead of us as a company, and it really starts with the company's history in creating these standards for the computer on module market and then bringing them to the market and driving the market. And then we focus specifically on applications that we believe are rapidly growing applications like industrial automation or, or medical or IoT, as I just mentioned. I think the company has a tremendous focus on uh, operational efficiency and just continuous improvement. And with myself coming on board, living in the US and having spent a lot of time in the last 20 years in Asia, we have a real focus to expand and grow our business in the Americas and in Asia PAC. You know, today over 60% of our revenue comes from EMEA. In long term, we see that being closer to one third, one third, one third. And then lastly, all of our growth and everything we've done to date has been purely organic. And now we're actually actively looking at opportunities to add complementary technologies through acquisition and expand our product offering. <clears throat> 